All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add photos in Canva, so let's get started. So first we need to get some uh, photos. So I'm over here on Pexels right over here, and I'm just gonna say gardening. So let's say we're looking for some gardening images, and I download this one right here. They actually even have a quick button right here, or start editing in Canva for free. You can actually click this button right over here and go right into your Canva account, but we uh, went ahead and downloaded that. Let's go download another one real quick. And you can see right up here, it's downloading. And then we'll go and download another one somewhere right over here maybe. All right, so we have these three images and now we're gonna go into Canva. And let's just say, <clears throat> I usually like to start off with a YouTube thumbnail because even if we're blogging and we need a banner, this is a really good image size for um, for blog posts, uh, for featured images. I usually use, just use the um, YouTube thumbnail size. And right now we have a blank, uh, canvas right over here and let's just say we wanted to do something cool like add these images right over here so um, a couple different things we can do but right off the bat you're going to want to go to uploads and then upload files and then right over here we're going to find those images right here i'm going to left click and then i'm going to push like control and i'm going to click on all three of them at the same time and push open and now as you can see in canva all three of those images are now uploading to my personal server right over here on Canva. And then now what we can do is we can do a bunch of different things. So um, to get that this exact size, we're just gonna let, uh, hover it over to the top left and right, and then it's gonna automatically size to that perfect size, right? So then all we have to do is just push the plus page right here. And let's just say we were doing this for the next three YouTube thumbnails, or maybe these are for blog posts or featured image for blog posts or any other reason that you would be using these, we can quick, quickly come through here and go like that. Now that's my trick. I like to hover it to the top corner, top left corner, and it automatically sizes perfectly. If you don't do it that way, then, and you just left click, you're gonna have this image right here that you can do whatever you want with, but you're going to have to go and take extra steps to size this like I'm doing right now. And so what you're gonna end up having to do is go like this, and then you're gonna have to move this like so. And so you can see that took a lot longer time, more clicks and so forth, in order to get the same result as just pushing the plus button, in going and grabbing this and hovering like I like I do my little trick right there. So then now you have these images. Another thing that you can do with all these images, if you wanted all these to be displayed, so those are the reasons that you would use your image to take up the entire canvas uh, size right there, right? But sometimes you might not wanna do that. Sometimes you might wanna just left click right here and open up an image right here so we can have multiple images on the canvas at once. And so we can quickly make these the same size by going like this. And then just, you'll see that the arrow on the, uh, the cursor on the bottom right over here will show up and it will align with this one right here as we resize, check this out, boom, it just sizes perfectly. And then we just grab that final one and we wanna make it the same size. And we're just gonna move that one just like so. And then now we have these images that are all the same size um, and it looks really good. And then now you can go and do some funny, some fun, uh, fancy things like um, hover over the image. You can edit the image. You can go over here and you can add uh, shadows. You can add outlines right over here. There's a black outline right there. Sometimes this happens. You just have to step away for a few seconds and then it takes care of itself, right? So there's the outline right there or we wanna go over here, edit photo, and then maybe go into a shadow and then a glow. Maybe we wanna add the glow on there. Maybe we wanna make the size of the glow a little bit more about like right there and then add a blur amount like so. And then you can see right there that it has a nice pop to it. And then we would maybe just make this bigger and then we kind of align that. So then now that image really pops off of the screen <clears throat> and it looks really, really good. So that's how you can quickly add any image that you want. Another thing that you can do sometimes is if I went up here and let's just say I took a screenshot of something, right? So maybe we're inside of a website and we just are doing uh, something for a project and I want to maybe take a screenshot, right? So let's just say I've got a screenshot right here and then I'm just gonna push capture. Now notice I can go over here and I can right click and I can copy this image and then push done. I can go back into Canva and right over here, I could actually do a control V to paste it 
<clears throat> and then it's going to paste on top of what we're doing, right? So that's another way that you can quickly bring an image into Canva. You definitely can copy and paste images and throw them in here. Um, but if you want um, to be able to resize them correctly, add outlines to them and shadows and so forth, I recommend using the upload feature because then it's an image that you're actually bringing inside of Canva the right way to be able to edit it properly. Um, sometimes you'll run into some problems when you do copy and paste in here, but if you're just doing something on the fly and you just want to copy and, um, and paste something in there, I usually do that a lot of times for like thumbnails and so forth and it works just fine. But um, like I said, sometimes I'll run into when I copy and paste images, I'll run into some editing issues. But nonetheless, that's how you can quickly add images to Canva and it works like a charm. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Canva Creatives Hub, where I'm putting out daily Canva tutorials. I'll see you next time.